What is up guys, this is Will here. And in this video, I'm going to review all the different resources basically that you're going to use as a second year medical student, what I think about them, whether I think you should get them and just kind of, you know, my overall opinions on them. So let's go ahead and just jump in this video and get started. All right, so let's just go ahead and start with, you know, we we'll start with the big one right here. We're gonna start with first aid for step one. Okay, so I mean, I have the 2019 edition, but I know there's probably a new edition out. So this book right here, um, I think that this book right here is amazing. I 100% recommend this book. I think that you definitely should get it because it has everything you need to know for step one. Okay, it has, you know, everything from, you know, you know, drugs to, in, you know, different types of um, microbiology, you know, biochemistry, it covers pretty much everything. So you want to use this book. And I also think that this book is very helpful during your actual, you know, first and second year because you can follow along and this stuff just keeps it much more high yield. Your PowerPoints are going to have a million things on them. Okay. And then this will just tell you like, Hey, here's the things that like you really need to know. So it also turns out that it will probably be pretty useful for your actual in-house exams as is also useful for the step one exam. So just some things to know about. It is um, organized by like different systems. So you have it organized like by biochemistry and stuff, but also goes into the specific organ system. So it has like GI, it has renal, it has all these different systems in it. So it's pretty easy to follow along. Um, and as you can tell, it's pretty huge. Um, it is, at least this one is like 700, almost 800 pages big. But it has, like I said, it has everything that you need to know. And um, it does a good job of making it high yield. You also can, um, like you can take notes and like you can like do like highlights and stuff in it because the, the way it is formatted is um, you can see on like the outsides, like they leave room for you to write notes in there. And the paper is very good for like highlighting and stuff. So if you're someone who likes to actually highlight your books and to write notes inside of them, this is a really good book for that too. So my consensus on this is that you should definitely have first aid. Um, I think it was a key resource for me when I was studying for step one. And I think that you'll definitely find a lot of use out of it yourself. All right, let's move on to oh my God. so many resources. All right, so we're going to move on to the next resource and that is Pathoma. I, so I found Pathoma to be actually really, really helpful. Uh, Pathoma is something that does a great job of taking uh, complicated, you know, subjects and making it a lot simpler. Um, so like my medical school, they kind of, I feel like made everything super complicated. They actually like brought in PhD people to teach like our basic science classes and stuff, which is really cool, you know, especially in theory. And it was cool to hear from them. But as a student, it's definitely not something you want is to have a PhD kind of go over their entire, you know, thesis with you on their very specific subject. This book right here is going to make everything much more high yield. It's going to make everything clear and concise and you will understand it 10 times better if you uh, learn the same concept from Pathoma. So if you get a Pathoma subscription, you get access to the video library and also they will send you this book right here. This, so the, this book right here is pretty much literally like, almost a transcript of the videos. Like you will follow along the videos on your computer. And also in the book, it has the exact facts that you need to know for everything that he talks about. Um, this book is so high yield. I mean, I can't emphasize that enough. I definitely recommend getting um, Pathoma. You'll definitely appreciate it. And you can even see how much I've highlighted in here. Like, you know, it leaves room on the side um, to take notes, you know, you can highlight things and it really just, it's really good, uh, especially for learning like the different diseases, I guess, hence the name, you know, Pathoma, it's, you're learning the different diseases. So definitely as a second year medical student and for studying for step one, you want to have Pathoma. All right. So before I talk about the, um, the other books that I have here, I want to go ahead and talk about Sketchy. Um, I don't have a book here to show you with Sketchy, but basically what Sketchy is, is it is a um, online video where they kind of, I guess like say sketch out a story to help you remember some concept. So there's different sketches out there. There's sketchy micro, there's sketchy, um, you know, path, and there's also sketchy um, farm. 
So for second year, I really used a lot of um, the Sketchy Micro and the Sketchy Far. And for me, I found that I have kind of mixed feelings about Sketchy. Um, I would say that Sketchy is not for everyone. In, okay, now I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that. Um, but for me, I did learn a lot from Sketchy and especially I learned a lot, you know, in the micro section, also the farm section is very good. But for me, it was kind of, I, after a while seeing so many different sketches, um, they all kind of started to blur themselves together to me. So for my in-house exams, Sketchy was really helpful because I could watch the videos right then and remember those specific sketches and those stuck out in my mind very well. But then when it came time to uh, study for step one, I've seen so many sketches now that I can't remember how all the exact details of the pictures look. Uh, so the way Sketchy works is he draws out, you know, you're watching a video and um, they draw out you know, the scene and as they draw it out, they, they kind of explain the story and stuff. And it's to help you to remember the details of, you know, that bacteria or the drug class that you're learning about, you know, and it's really helpful to, you know, to help you remember it. But like I said, for me, overall, like studying for step one, it was just too many sketches and it just started to blur in my head. You know, it's up to you if you think that you're really good at the visual learning. I mean, I think I'm a decent visual learner, but to me that was just too many pictures. Um, so I would say you should maybe get sketchy if you feel like you're a good visual learner. If not, I felt like I was just watching so many different sketches and it just kind of blurred all my head so i had a hard time remembering it for step one yeah that's how i feel about sketchy i will say though that the sketchy micro is really really good and also anki cards use those sketchy pictures so in a way you don't really need to get sketchy to get the benefits of sketchy there's actually a pdf out there with all the different sketches and um they have like the explanations for all the different parts in the sketches um, if you've ever used Picmonic, it's pretty much the same concept and idea as Picmonic. So if you like Picmonic, then you'll probably like Sketchy because Sketchy is very high quality. But like I said, it just kind of depends if that's kind of up your alleyway or not with studying. <laughs> Alrighty, so um, this is Osmosis. So I also got Osmosis when I was studying for step one um, and also for my second year of medical school. So Osmosis, I got like the, I think the six month subscription uh, or a year subscription. It's been a while now, so I don't really remember, but I did get all these books sent with it, which is part of why I got it. I'm like, oh, I get like a whole year of like Osmosis and I get these books. I'm just going to be really straightforward with you guys right here. I've pretty much never used these books. They look nice. They feel really nice. The covers, you know, like it's really high quality books. And I, I know I've skimmed through these books and I... You know, I think they're really high quality. I've just literally never used them because I just felt like there's just too much detail in here and I had too many other resources. And I didn't want to devote my time to this. So even though that this is like really high quality, I'll put this down now, <laughs> um, even though I thought this very high quality, I just didn't want to put my time into that because I had other things I had to study instead of this. Uh, if I could go back, I would probably not buy it because that was a lot of money to buy it. I thought I was gonna use it more than I did. I really didn't. Even the online videos, I think Osmosis is really, really good at taking con you know complicated uh, subjects and really breaking it down to make it a lot simpler. I just, for some reason, I just don't feel like I can remember things very well from Osmosis videos. They do a great job of kind of like dumbing things down and making it simpler to understand. But for me, it's hard for me to remember all the specific details of things from Osmosis videos. So if you guys haven't already, you should go ahead and check out some of their free videos. I think they have free videos on YouTube. See if it's up your alleyway or not. And if you really love Osmosis, I would go ahead and get it. If you don't, I would say just maybe hold off on that for a little bit. Make sure you get your pathoma. Make sure that you get your first aid. Osmosis is great, but I think that it's just too broad. It's just not, you know, good enough at helping you to remember the details to be really helpful as a medical student. All right, so the next one I wanna talk about is Boards and Beyond. I actually only used this one a little bit for studying for step one. Um, I found that Boards and Beyond was also kind of, you know, really good at helping you to understand concepts. Um, I felt like it's similar in that way with Pathoma, that it just, he does a really good job of explaining things. I think the guy who teaches Boards and Beyond is a really good teacher. And um, I definitely think you should look at it. I think, I believe they have like a free trial. so. Go ahead, check that out. Make sure that you, you know, you kind of vibe with his teaching style. 
And if you do, I think that Boards and Beyond is really good. Um, I have a bunch of classmates who used it and definitely love it. I can't really recommend it too much myself because I only used it for a little bit. But from what I did see, I thought it was really good. Okay, so the next two resources that I want to mention are Amboss and UWorld. And the reason I want to mention them together is they're both pretty similar. So Amboss is it's kind of like a dual function. It's like an online encyclopedia kind of for medical school information for like, you know, your uh, step one information it has stuff for like step two. Amboss is really good. Okay, I actually really liked Amboss a lot. Um, but I also had, so I had Amboss and I also had UWorld too. Uh, so UWorld is like just exclusively question bank and they have really good answer explanations, um, you know, really good pictures in there. And it really does a good job of, you know, simulating the actual step exam. Amboss also has a question bank as well. And those questions are also really good. So in that sense, I think they're both really, really good. I think these are both really good resources. Now for me, I was like, I have two um, question banks I have to use. Which one am I going to use? And only because everyone says you must use UWorld, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do, if I had to choose between one or the other, because I didn't have time to do both of the question banks, I did the UWorld question bank. The UWorld question bank, like I said, is really good. I did a couple ones from Amboss and I also thought that was really good. Um, I think in a way, Amboss is like more bang for your buck because it has like this, you know, searchability. It has so many ways to like help you learn the material. And then it has the question banks on top of it. While UWorld is just the question bank. Uh, so I would say I only really used UWorld because I was like, I only have time to use one question bank. And I, so I can definitely say that, you know, definitely use UWorld just because you need to get the practice in. But if you are someone who really likes structure, because Amboss has a lot of structure to it. The way that they organize their site and the way they organize all of their different subjects inside of Amboss, it's very well structured. So if you're someone who likes to have order and structure in their studying, I actually think that Amboss, if you had to choose between Amboss and UWorld, you probably should go with Amboss in that sense because they have a really good question bank and they also have all this medical information. So if you're someone like that, I would say go for Amboss. You definitely need to have at least one question bank when you're studying for step one. All right, and the last thing I kind of want to mention is uh, it's not really like a third party resource, but something that all of us medical students, you know, use or at least have heard about, and that's Anki. So my quick opinion on Anki is that it works really, really well if you use it. And if you don't use it, then it's just stressful. So you have to be someone who's willing to just go at it with Anki. You know, you're going to be doing tons and tons of cards and you're going to have tons and tons of reviews and Anki is going to basically own your life. If you're okay with that, then Anki is going to do an amazing job of helping you learn things. If you're not, and you have all these other resources, then Anki might be very overwhelming to you. So I would say, I wish that I used Anki more just because of how great it works, but I started too late and then I just got overwhelmed by the amount of cards I had to, to do to finish the deck. So if you wanna do Anki, I would say start it as soon as you can see how you feel about it. If you like it, then just keep going at it. But Anki is also an amazing, you know, study uh, resource to use too. All right, guys, I know I went pretty fast through all of these. Uh, there's a, definitely a ton of study resources out there. Um, if you guys have any other questions about any of the resources whatsoever, please let me know by posting a comment down below. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. I definitely appreciate it. And I will be posting a lot more awesome content. So go ahead, make sure you, like I said, subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.